Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm a new bird watcher, and I wanted to share some of the things I've learned. Maybe it will help you. The first thing is it's really fun. Uh, you learn the names of birds. Uh, it's a thrill to find new species. You spend a lot of time in the outdoors, which is really fun. You learn a lot of scientific knowledge and bird habits and bird behavior. And long story short, it's really fun. Second thing is I've always had these ideas about which birds are named with different things. And I found out I was wrong about half of them. So you, um, you, you learn the right names and um, where they live and their habits. Um, also, you know, I always thought birds were sweet little innocent things, but they're really territorial. Some of them are pests and some of them are bullies. Uh, not always sweet, but still very interesting, very uh, amusing to, to watch them. The third thing is um, to watch their behavior. You know, their, their brain is mostly the optic, optical portion, the visual portion of their brain is the largest. So they have great eyesight. The, the, you know, they certainly can see other birds. So if you're in the wild there, they can certainly see you. So the best thing I've learned is to be very still, sit in one spot, don't make a lot of s sudden moves or uh, or jerky movements. And if you sit there, the birds will, will s feel safe around you. Be still and um, they'll, they'll come and perch closer to you. Fourth thing, you need a good photographic zoom. Now that could be binoculars or a camera or a spotting scope, but I find if you try to aim a camera at a tree and it's just full of leaves that are the almost the exact same shape as the bird, it's best if you can zoom out, find out where the bird is fluttering, and then zoom in to get the, get the photo or just the, the um, image in your own, own head there. Um, I, I have a brother who spent $5,000, uh, $2,500 for the camera and $2,500 for a fi 500 millimeter telephoto lens, but you can get ultra zoom lenses on point and shoot cameras for about two to three hundred dollars. So for my three hundred dollar 25 zoom camera, I can zoom in and zoom out quickly and, and, and therefore capture the bird. They also tend to flutter around a lot, jump from branch to branch, so they never sit still. So you need to be able to zoom out capture them again and zoom in to get the picture. Fifth thing is bird calls. God, you know, for every bird I see, there's five others that I never see, but I hear their calls. So that's my next big project is to learn which bird calls refer to each bird. I think I would increase the number of species that I've seen that way. Um, also, the camera helps you. If you can't remember what the bird looks like, the camera will help you record the bird, then when you go back to your house you can uh, look up references and, and identify them that way. Use the internet, it's a great source, they have all kinds of references and, and talk about the the um, identifying by birds. You can go to sites like the Audubon Society and see and hear bird calls so you can make that connection. Number six, join in. Join in uh, the Audubon Society or local bird watching groups. There's a lot of uh, walk and talk type groups of seniors, etc., that you can walk and see birds. Um, there are phone apps that can help you both identify the bird and they'll track your walking. So uh, you can post that to, to bird watching sites. The ones I found are eBird is really good, uh, Merlin Bird ID application. There are all kinds of trapping, uh, tracking applications. Also try field trips and um, uh, look up resources on the internet. You, once you've done that, you can contribute what you've learned to, to the websites and therefore help science. Number seven and last is interconnection. Boy, you think you're going to see birds, but you see different kinds of trees and habitats and rock formations and animals and plants. and All these things are, are part of nature that you learn to appreciate just from bird watching. Um, you have opportunities to contribute to environmentalism, like I'm walking there and I see 
soda bottles or trash and I pick it up on the way. So expand your experience uh, even if it's not strictly bird watching to, to enjoy other parts of nature. In summary, it's really fun. Hope you enjoy it. I hope when you have some experience too that you'll make a video and help other beginners. Thank you.